in this video i'll be giving you the most unexpected questions that you might get in mco03 uh, research methodology and uh, as we know ki jab hawa ulti chalti hai to kadam hame bahut sambhal ke rakhne chahiye and uh, i hope because mco03 you might expect a very long lengthy question paper and uh, you must put in your 100% efforts in the preparation to score good marks okay in my previous videos uh, i told you about all the important questions and suggestions but in this video the most unexpected questions that you might get in the exam okay so we'll start with uh, the first question that you should uh, you know consider uh, what is business research process and what are its different stages or what are the steps involved in business research process so this question is very unexpected the second question uh, what are the different types of issues that we encounter uh while doing scaling techniques i mean when we try to you know uh measure the responses so we use different types of techniques so while doing this uh you know these uh, uh, processes uh, we encounter a lot of issues so you might get a question on that Uh, you might get a question on the construction of rank order scale and semantic scale aapko ho sakta hai ki bhai apne se hi banane ke liye bole ki bhai rank order scale ka ek ek scale banao with your own uh, responses ya fir semantic scale ya fir likert scale ye teen scales pe aa sakte hain because unexpected it's very un unexpected uh the next question is uh, from tabulation tabulation of data as we know ki tabulation means you know uh, you know putting all these uh, uh, your research uh, findings uh, in form of table and uh, you might be asked to draw a format of uh, a table and uh, you uh, you will be asked to explain its different parts okay so you might get this question uh, the next one is uh, what is variation and what like how it is useful in managerial decisions and what are the different types of variations so this question is also very rarely uh, seen question Uh, but very unexpected the next one is uh, you might get a question on uh, the equations of regression i mean we know that correlation and regression is a very important chapter and uh, especially on these two concepts you get numericals so you might get a numerical on regression <clears throat> where you have to find the regression equation of x on y and y on x okay so this question you should take care of uh the next question that uh, you can very unexpected uh, it is from binomial probability distribution and where can we apply binomial probability distribution for what like uh, in which areas we can apply how can we use that and uh, the difference between this binomial probability distribution and continuous probability distribution this is also very unexpected question the next one i don't know you have heard about this question or not uh this is on mvue that is minimum variance unbiased estimator uh this is again uh, you know it is a black horse if you go back to like uh, 15 years back question paper 
you will see this question is, was there so m v u e is another unexpected question the next question how to set confidence uh, limits to population mean uh, i mean you know there are a lot of things in this and again uh, the steps in testing the significance of population mean so both the questions are from the same unit so the confidence limit and the significance testing the significance of the population mean or proportion uh, again next question it is uh, from t distribution we know the well i mean the importance of t distribution in research purpose and uh, where can we apply this tree distribution give an example why it is important what are the different uses in uh, you know uh, to the management of a company and uh, again like uh, the role uh, to set up confidence interval to population mean this is uh, again like uh, from this chapter only so confidence interval again you might have seen this question occurs sometimes in the exam quite unexpected as like i told you earlier also that whenever the question papers are designed it absolutely uh, you know depends on the mood of the examiner and one very you know interesting fact like uh, before few days एक स्टूडेंट ने पूछा था कि सर जून के जो एग्जाम्स होते हैं इग्नू में दे आर हार्डर इन कंपैरिजन टू डिसम्बर एग्जाम्स सो इट्स वेरी यू नो वेरी फनी क्वेश्चन द आई वुड से इसका मतलब तो ये हो जाएगा कि यू नो स्टूडेंट्स फिर डिसम्बर में ही एग्जाम देंगे जून में कोई एग्जाम ही नहीं देगा सो मे बी how far she is right or wrong i don't know about that uh, but anyway i will say you should uh, concentrate more on concept clearing rather than just so searching for the uh, important questions the next question very unexpected one uh, where to apply this t distribution just now i told you about this like the different steps of applying this t distribution the next question is from yates correction you might have seen this question uh, came in short notes in a few exams uh, previously and uh, the different uses or significance of yates correction uh, the next question is uh, what are statistical methods and what are the different steps to prepare statistical methods again a very rare question very rare question uh, now it depends on you the next one is uh, what are the different types of mistakes or errors that we uh, that we do that we uh, that occur during uh, interpretation of the data so this is again a very uh, uncommon question and uh, the last of this video is uh, the structure of a report the structure of the report you have to you know you might be asked to uh, to write a, a a report of your choice by uh, taking your own data or maybe like you are given with the data and you will be asked to you know uh, to prepare a report with a good structure so these are very uh, uncommon very unexpected questions that you must also take care of so a very best of luck for the exams and uh, thank you very much for watching this video